Greetings all and welcome to another video. Now I've got a debate that is actually a bit more popular than I believed at first and I was actually surprised by how popular this is. That being once again the actually surprisingly widely debated topic on climate change and whether it is false or true. Now as always before getting into my personal opinions on the matter, I'm going to look at both sides and address their thoughts on the matter. So to kick this debate off, we're going to look at the side that does not think that climate change is real. Now to some, they may think that these people are just crazy and they're just in denial, but like I said, I believe that all sides can contribute something and all sides are worth hearing. One of the reasons that these people don't believe that it's real are personal political reasons. Without getting too deep into the political spectrum, in short, because majority of people on the left of the spectrum of politics agree that climate change is an issue and promote the New Green Deal, politics being the volatile thing it is that results in people just being at odds with one another and refusing to believe an opinion solely because that person is on the other side of the spectrum, that is a reason why they don't want to accept the fact that climate change could be real simply because the left a lot of people on the left side may think that that's they may be for climate change and new green deal so obviously people who are against that side are going to just say hey they're for this so let's be against it so that's one reason another reason that i've heard and seen is simply that what is occurring in our day and age that we see around us a lot is not climate change but just natural weather They've also applied the scientific method to this to show that environments change over time and look vastly different than what they originally were, and I can say that they do have a point in that. Now transitioning into the people who say that climate change is real, most of the arguments are obviously the polar opposite of what was stated previously. One being the rapid changing state of the global environment, aptly named global warming, as that times, as that, excuse me, as well as pollution is going to result in what we call climate change. Now, they argue that our imprint on the environment essentially our effect. It's not necessarily a footprint or something like that, so don't get confused. It's our effect on the environment is too heavy as we burn through fossil fuels as well as cut down trees and forests and kill plants and animals, we are trapping, we're, excuse me, we're releasing too many fossil fuels that get trapped via the ozone layer, creating a greenhouse effect, steadily warming the planet. I'm sure everyone has probably heard about this once or so in their lifetime. The measure, excuse me, I don't know what the heck's going on, I'm making all these mistakes. The, uh, they measure rises within sea levels as indicators that the ice caps are melting, causing issues as well as new record temperatures of hot places such as the equator or Australia. They record the rising record-breaking temperatures as other proof that this is indisputable that the Earth's climate is changing and likely, as the name suggests, it's warming as a result of human actions. Now, getting to my personal opinion, I just want to say that I feel like everyone should be heard in these kinds of debates. When presenting the information at hand, I don't think that we should be so quick to laugh it off because we can't or rather don't want to accept it because it goes against our perspectives. It's always worth looking at even if we're not going to agree. That's what I say, but I know in our day and age, a lot of people are just like, my side, I'm sticking with it, you know, so... I, I just encourage you to be a bit more open-minded. Now, my personal feeling on the matter is that climate change is real and happening. Now, even without looking at climate change, it's obvious that humans have had a dramatic impact on the planet. I mean, just look at the man-made light that comes from cities that can be seen from space, that you can literally see from people who are on the ISS, International Space Station. They can actually take pictures of these cities and they'll see the light, like, combined from all of these different street lamps and buildings 
all of that coming from the cities and they can see that from outer space. We can also take a look at the habitat destruction and extinctions that we have caused upon animals and plants. You know, every action has a reaction and for those who think it's not true, I ask this, why does turning your car on in a closed garage with your windows rolled down create a lethal environment for you? Well, it's because the fumes emitted by your car within a place where there isn't a filter causes the air to become polluted and unsuitable for breathing, which results in unconsciousness, if not death, outright. Now, some may argue, well, plants are the natural combatants of the CO2 emissions that we emit from fossil fuels, and you'd be correct with that. However, filters can be overwhelmed if they're not strong enough, or if it's just not... I guess there's not as many in this case, because the filters are plants and whatnot. And considering our deforestation, we're slowly getting rid of that combatant. You know, we're, we're emitting all of this gas, but we're also de deforest deforalizing? Well, excuse me, like, I guess that's not a word, but I'm trying to think of what the word to use for. We'll, we'll just say we're cutting down forests. We're cutting down forests a lot faster than, you know, like, it can grow back, which means we're releasing these fuels and the forests are being cut down, so the natural filter can't compensate. So we're getting rid of our only filter. So it really seems to me like whether you want to believe it or not is could be for political reasons, it could be for personal reasons, or it just simply could be for the simple reason that a lot of people do not want to be held responsible, which is the very human reason a lot of days. I mean, you name any kind of disaster that happens, and even if it is outright someone's fault, they don't want to be held responsible, which is why plenty of murderers will not plead guilty. You know, it's not my fault. I'm not responsible. So, this is what I have to say to that. You know, whatever you want to believe in this scenario, you know, I'm not going to force you to accept my opinion, I'm not going to accept yours, Whatever you want to believe, you know, every action has a reaction. We cannot just sit idly by simply because we don't want to accept reality. All that really does is make us victims of reality, because the sad truth is, we are in reality, and we must learn to cope with it. And one of the biggest things that we have to face reality is the fact that our actions have consequences. And climate change, as far as I am concerned in this case, is just one of the many that we have to face being part of this reality. So with that being said, that's going to bring my debate on climate change to a close. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I know that this is something a bit kind of different. I, I'm not, I don't really often do debate videos, but I kind of wanted to give this a shot because I do hear that this is actually a lot more popular than people believe. And I didn't really think that this was actually a debated topic much, but a lot of people actually debate this, so let me know your thoughts on the matter. Just want to let you all know that since YouTube censors content on its platform, if you want to see these, the best way to support my channel would be to subscribe and hit that bell, as that is the only way that you will actually see these videos in your feed, it's because yay YouTube. Also, please let me know what you guys want to see in the future, because I'm not necessarily running out of ideas here, but I'm kind of getting bored with gaming, so if you know anything like good going on with gaming that you'd like me to cover in a video, please do let me know. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves, tell me what you'd like to see in the future in the comments below, and I will see all of you in the next video. Take care, people.